town of Island may be small, but it attracts big time artists who create amazing work. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson takes us to the Milan Village Art School where folk art remains alive and well. The best word to describe Milan is quirky. It's small, but there's just so much going on in this town. Normally, because of its size, Milan would be one of those don't blink or you'll miss it type of towns. But if you take a close look, you'll find little treasures around every corner. It was something that just evolved. It was never planned. It just evolved and keeps evolving. During the farm crisis of the 1980s, the Milan Village Art School opened as a way to create teaching jobs for struggling artists. This area is a big Norwegian immigrant area, so most of the classes we teach are Scandinavian in nature. And over the years, the school has carved out a role for itself, gaining popularity around the globe and helping to make our state the hub of the Scandinavian art movement. We'll get rid of that hard line. People come from across the Midwest to learn things like silversmithing, rose mauling, and knife making. Well, it was a gift to learn from. The Norwegians themselves were unique to bringing it here. Jock Holman's grandparents were from Norway. He now drives from the Twin Cities to Milan to teach a Scandinavian art form called Acanthus. It's mainly carving leaves to decorate anything from doorways to cabinets to just a lot of things. It takes a lot of carving to make something this captivating. Using chisels and gauges that are five times sharper than a scalpel, they're creating art out of birch and basswood. Some projects, like Kathy Nardi's, can take weeks to complete. This is supposed to go over a doorway. In theory, that's where it's going to go, so it's nice because it'll be eight feet away. No one will see all my little mistakes. This is where you kind of take a mental guess. Even though they're learning, students here are their own worst critics. Kathy has made the two-hour trip from St. Cloud to Milan many times before. Acanthus is just the latest folk art she's trying to master. You take one class, you start taking other classes, and pretty soon you're hooked and you get the catalog. You're like, okay, there's those next three that I'm signing up for. Old and sometimes ancient forms of art that often require a lifelong learning curve. You talk to people People have been at it 30 years and they said, well, I haven't mastered it yet, but you keep finding a carrot to chase something else or add something to it. Finding and adding in a small town and in a 107-year-old school building. We're wandering a little that way. Yeah. Where plenty of learning still takes place. Milan is kind of a very unique and special place. In Milan, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Teachers at the Milan Village Art School are often from Minnesota, but some travel from across the country just to teach in a town of 300 residents. For more information on the school and the art classes that it offers, just go to WCCO.com links.